All right, good morning. My name is Bjorn Helgus. I'm the, I take care of PCI upstream. So uh, these first few slides are just some overview of what we've done in the last year, just to kind of give you some context and uh, give you some ideas for things that uh, we might want to talk about, issues that we still need to work on. Uh, so one big area of work in the last year was related to host bridge hot plug. Uh, we have some sort of initial support there, mostly for ACPI. Uh, so in the last year or so, we added support for some uh, ACPI features related to host bridge hot plug, support for extended config space, and uh, we kind of split out the host bridge hot plug from, uh, it, it used to be part of uh, the ACPI PHP module, which handles mostly device hot plug, but it also had the host bridge hot plug. So we could try to split those out to separate them. Uh, we had a fair amount of work related to PCI device hot plug. Um, there's some differences in the way we handle things that were present in boot and things that were hot added, like we didn't apply all the quirks correctly. Um, we have several fixes related to Thunderbolt. Uh, when you disconnected a Thunderbolt device, we could have deadlocks because of the way we implemented work, work queues. So we fixed that. Um, we've had a lot of issues related to the interaction between PCI Express native hot plug and ACPI hot plug, and I think Raphael will probably talk about that in more detail. Uh, but we've fixed several things there, so that should be working somewhat better now. Um, these are a little bit more internal things related to PCI Express specific features like AER and uh, NPS. Uh, we made some structural changes in the way we do SRIOV in terms of configuring the number of virtual functions we require. There's an interface now in SysFS where it used to be strictly a driver module parameter. Um, so that was a significant area of work in the last year. There's still some work going on in terms of NPS, which is a performance optimization. Um, we we do support configuring that at boot time, but we don't really have a good strategy at hot plug time because it's a, it's a property that affects more than just an individual device. It's something where we have to uh, configure it consistently across the whole system. And it's hard to, hard to do that at, uh, at runtime. So there's probably some more things that we can do there in the future too. Alex did quite a bit of work related to virtualization in the last year. Um, added interfaces for resetting devices between guest assignments, if I understand correctly. And uh, ACS is a feature related to uh, uh, I think it stands for access control, but it's related to yeah, so he made some changes there so that we can, we don't have to have as large a group of devices assigned to a single guest. We can do it at a finer granularity. And we had several miscellaneous things. Um, Mike Yachnus added TRA support for ACPI and, or for uh, x86. We used to have it for Itanium, but we didn't have it for x86. So that's sort of a large system feature. Um, just a couple other SRIOV and uh, Macintosh related ROM image support. And so last week I went through and looked at all the current bugs in our Bugzilla, which is sort of how I keep track of the open issues. And we have a surprising number of bugs open related to hot plug, express cards mostly. Um, things that we don't notice a hot plug event, um, 
certain types of cards don't work if you hot plug them after boot. They don't, we don't handle it correctly if we've suspended and resumed, so on and so forth. Um, hopefully, a lot of those will have been addressed by the recent work that Raphael did with ACPI PHP, but uh, we need to retest and sort through those. Uh, another area where there's several issues is locking and reference counting. This is related to SysFS operations. Um, SysFS has interfaces where we can uh, remove a device or rescan a bus or so on, and if you do those operations concurrently, it's easy to cause a panic or a deadlock, so that's an area that we want to address this year. And we also have several issues related to AC, a, ASPM, which is a hardware power management feature in PCIe. Um, that's an area where it, uh, there's a lot of interaction with the hot plug driver, there's interaction with the BIOS in terms of whether it wants to grant us control or not. And it's, there's some cases where uh, it's not really clear how to resolve it. We don't, the platform doesn't grant us control, so we don't feel like we're, it's safe for us to change the settings and so on. So that's really an area that uh, needs a lot of thought, I guess. So I think that's, that's it. So let's jump into the first topic, which I think is Myron's.